Welcome back, students, to Lesson 2. In this particular lesson, we're going to learn the 3D environment and how to work as, as well as how to manipulate our models within that environment. We're basically going to use two tools, up on the, uh, on the view screen as well as up on the menu bar up at the top. And both of them are similar. They look the same, just in two different ways. One's going to do camera, one's going to do model. So first, let's get our screens to look the same. Open your DAS, and when you open your DAS, I need you to go to the very top to where it says Window. Use the drop-down menu to where it says Workspace. And then move that over to Select Layout. So up here where it says Window, Workspace, Select Layout. Now, we're going to choose a layout. We're going to choose the, the City Limits Light. This is the layout that I want you to choose, just so we're all on the same page. Now, later you can choose a different layout if that's what you're going to want. By the way, you're going to modify this layout by dropping in, you know, different windows and different tabs. In the end, this will, your, as you use it, it's going to look real different. But right now, choose City Limits Light. And when you choose that, we will have the same looking screen. So when I talk about it, it'll be right in front of you. So City Limits Light is accept. Good. Now, it's going to reset, and that is our workspace. In the lower left, you're going to see the store. I want you to make sure that you're working online. So, just like we talked about last time, you go online, you work online, and this way you, you've got uh, different uh, things that is available to you. Go up here to where it says login. Put in your email and whatever password you use to set up your account. Hit login. Okay. Now, this is going to be the store. It's going to give us a lot of other stuff from tips to info of different files. But right now, we just want you to be logged in. We're going to also want to minimize this, which I'll show you in a moment. I want you to be in the smart content. This right here, we're going to talk a lot about. Ignore this little area here. This is our 3D environment right here. So, smart content, 3D environment. Go to install, and I want you to install everything that you downloaded. So, you can hit control and click on each one of those files then go down here to where it says install. The most important ones I need you to install right now is all the Genesis packages. Genesis, Genesis 2, Genesis 3, and Genesis 8, and the Dragon Bundle. Because we're going to do a lot with the Dragon Bundle since, hey, we're Dragon Lords. So, the Dragon Bundle and all the Genesis. I need you to put those and install them. So, take a few minutes, do that, and then come back to me. So, just pause it right here, and then come back to me. Alright, so hopefully you've got those installed. Now, we're going to want to... Uh, make this go into smart content and we're going to want to make this window down here disappear because <coughs> we do not need that excuse me i got to take some animated water <sighs> invisible animated water to you so now we're on smart content this is a very important screen every every model that we choose is going to give us compatible things for it in there this right here is our store. We're going to make this disappear. Click on that little line till it highlights. Click on it and it makes it disappear. By clicking on it again, it'll make it reappear. But we don't want to see it because we're not going to use it right now. So make it disappear. And now we can see all the categories of stuff that we have. And that's important. Right here underneath Smart Content is Content Library. Now Content Library is everything just in fol folders. Stay in, 
stay in smart content go to figures and we're going to go to the Genesis folder the orange one now go to figures and we're going to go to the Genesis folder the orange one now go to figures click on our dragon slayer we got that dragon bundle click on the dragon slayer and he's going to pop up in our 3D environment. Voila. There he is. Pretty cool, huh? Upper right, I never use auxiliary viewport. Always leave it on scene. It's much easier. This gives us all the things in the scene that we can go ahead and select. So right now we only have one thing in the scene, which is our Genesis character, our actor. And make sure that stays highlighted because we're going to do some fun stuff with it. Go over here and we're going to find compatible things with it. Smart content, everything that's here is compatible to this model. So we want to repose them. Let's say just a play. Let's go over here to where it says pose. Stick on products up here. And these are just different categories and things that we purchased on pose. Just pick a pose. It could be any pose. I have this one so I make them look manly. He's a very manly, his back. I haven't told, taught you how to turn him yet. Hit Control Z to undo anything that you've done. And that'll do that for several things. So just, if you've made a mistake, just hit Control Z and redo what you want. Content folder, content library, this is what it looks like. It's just alphanumeric, everything in folders. So if you want to look up Dragon, you, hit, you go to the D. So, but we're going to stay in smart content because it's easy. So stay there. This is our, our little guy. And make sure Genesis is selected. So figures under Genesis, Dragon Slayer. And voila. Now, I'm going to teach you a little bit about what this screen has. In 3D, we have X, Y, and Z axes. So, this right here shows three axes um, that we're going to deal with, X, Y, and Z. Um, y is going to move things up and down in this case, and X and Z forward, backwards, left, and right. And you can choose those by just left-clicking on the arrow and dragging it. You can do that. And you'll move the entire model up, down, left, right, forward, backwards. Up here, we're only going to be concerned with two. Two icons. This one, the circle with an arrow at the end. And this one looks like a cross, you know, an X with arrows on all four ends. So there we go. These are the two. When I hit the circle, now I can dra grab these, these circles here with my left click and I can turn them. I can rotate them on all three axes. So try that. Grab it with the left and drag. Now after we totally mess this little guy up, we're going to hit Control Z and get him back to where he was. So right here, when you hit the X with the uh, or the crosshairs with the arrows, that's when we go back to where we had. Grab the arrows up, down, forward, backwards. Just drag your mouse, and that will move your character. These are the two icons you're going to use on every time you open this. So, and it's just two. We're going to also show you how to manipulate the camera. So we're in perspective mode, which is what we're always going to be in. These two icons are also here. Notice here, it's the uh, that circle with an arrow, and then underneath it the same thing. Click on that, and what we can do now is keep our mouse there, left click, and now move your mouse. There you go. And now you're moving the camera all the way around, up, down, underneath, on top, and you're just rotating it. 
and that's how you rotate your camera in order to set up your shot. Now, that for rotation, what about up and down and left and right? <laughs> so that's what that other same icon underneath it with the, with the arrows on each end. We're going to click that now. And now holding down the left button, we can move the camera left, right, up, down. So there you go. And again, we can frame him exactly where we want. But he's still a little too far away. So now we've got the roller ball on our mouse. That will move us in and out of the frame. So we can zoom closer, zoom out. We can move the camera up. We can rotate it. And we can zoom in. Move our camera a little bit. Woohoo! And there you go. We've got a framed headshot of our Dragon Slayer. That really is, is as easy as it gets. So in this lesson, your homework is to play with this a little bit. I want you guys to just play with manipulation of both the character and the camera until you, you've, you've framed it right. I don't want to make this too long, so we've already had about 10 minutes. And that's where I want to keep the lessons. But those two icons, these two up here, and these two right here. So those are the two you're going to play with. After you download it by clicking on it, and I want you to do the Genesis packages, Genesis, Genesis 2, Genesis 3, and Genesis 8, and the Dragon Bundle. Those five at least. Now if you want to do all of them, have at it. Then you're going to go to Smart Content. You're going to choose Figures. Choose your Genesis packet, right here, the orange one. Go down to Figures, again, and click on Dragon Slayer. And then just play with rotation of both the camera, the zoom, and the character. And this is real important because we're going to use this in framing our shots. In our next lesson, we're going to start adding other things to it. And we're going to create a scene and do our very first render. So, congratulations on getting this far. I hope that this will help you get a little familiar with it. And then I will see you soon at our next um, lesson. So, congratulations. And we look to having a lot more fun with this.